Hello, good morning. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. My name's Brendan. Uh, today I'm going to take you on a little bit of a day in the life of a full time wholesaler. Uh, it's been a while since I've had kind of the phone follow me around, but I thought today would be a good day. I got my lucky red hat on and we're going to go write some off market offers. Uh, I'm here in Inglewood, Edmonton today. Uh, we just assigned a property last night. So this morning we made sure we tied up some, uh, we renewed the leases from the tenants for the person who's gonna take over this deal. She's very happy, off market, big property, cash flowing great. Uh, so we got her some new leases. Um, look at this area. There's like these little old houses like this, all the way to like, you know, developments like this, big duplexes, big fourplexes in the corner. This is a fantastic area, close to the Blatchford development, uh, close to downtown, a lot of old houses, redevelopment going on. Anyways, so we're off to write three offers uh, and I'm gonna give you kind of a negotiation tip after I go to these offers. I don't know what it's gonna be yet, but I'm gonna go there, I'm gonna kinda, of, you know, go through the routine, go through the system, and then after I'll tell you kinda of which ones worked in that meeting. So the first offer, we're gonna to go to Malmo Plains, a great area. This woman uh, had probate clear on her mother's house, it's original condition, granny's house, but it's big, it's like 1600 square foot plus, 1600 square feet, a little over that, with a double car garage. And so uh, we're gonna see what we can get there, see if we can get some margins for a good flip. Huge after repair values in that area. Then we're gonna go over to the West End and we're gonna go see, uh, in Glenwood, we're gonna see a gentleman who has this little tiny, little 800 square foot 1940s house, but on a big parcel of land close to the LRT, close to the West Edmonton Mall, that would be a redevelopment. So we're gonna go there and get as close to land value as we can. And then we're gonna to go to the north side and to kill Kenny and we're gonna to talk to this elderly woman. Her husband has moved out into a care home. She needs to downsize. She's got good pension income. Uh, she's quite well off. She doesn't wanna deal with the house. It's in uh, apparently poor, poor, poor disrepair. And so she's looking to pay off her mortgage balance and it, it's a nice big two story. You could put in a legal suite, do a big flip. It's facing a park. So we're gonna take you along. We're gonna write some offers. We're gonna talk about how it goes, off-market offers. Hopefully you can learn something or maybe you can even uh, get ahead of the, by watching this video and scoop one of these off-market properties for yourself. So without further ado, let's go. Okay, just finished the first offer here in Malmo Plains. Ooh, she's a sweet one. Tax assessment, city assessments like 475. There's, there's, see that new build there? The vacant lot next to that place is for sale for 470-ish, 479 or something. And we just wrote an offer for 385. Uh, it's got 1,600 square feet, it's a big place, it's really nice, uh, really excited about it. She's just, uh, her and her brother are power of attorney, so she said it's okay, but she's just gonna go get her brother's signature. So I'm just waiting on that signature and then pff, deal alert's going out. Uh, the negotiation tip for this one was rapport. Um, a lot of these older houses, like this this house they've owned since new, since the 63 or 69 or whenever it was built. It was their parents' house. This woman I was just speaking to grew up in this house, her and her brother. So uh, when you find out that kind of thing, you need to be sensitive that this is a big deal for them. And I always like to say something like, listen, I know this is a big deal and I know I'm a stranger. I just want to thank you for, you know, letting me in and, and potentially being a part of your journey. This is a big deal. And I just want to make sure that, you know, I'm sensitive to the fact that this is a big deal for your family and I'll do my best to make sure that I, you know, act accordingly and please forgive me if I, you know, kick the walls and say, this is broken and that's broken. So anyways, I just censored that. But saying that, she said, you know, thank you. I really appreciate that. And then she opened up with all the memories that she had in this house. And it was really cool to hear. But that helped us build some rapport and build some trust and hopefully uh, let her trust me to be the guy she can sell the house to. Uh, so that was the first um, offer out. Uh, now we're going to head over to the West End, over to Glenwood there and check out that uh, potential infill property. Okay, so I'm at the second offer. It's this house here. Obviously, you can see there's lots of infills going on in this neighborhood, like even here. Look at this, look at this plex over here next to these little houses. A great redevelopment neighborhood. Uh, it's 10 minutes after I was supposed to meet this guy. I've knocked twice, he's not home. He didn't, he didn't answer the phone when I confirmed 30 minutes before, so kind of airball on this one. But uh, I'm gonna give it another few minutes. Also, I actually got a signature on that first offer. It's in the inbox, deal alert's gonna be going out soon. Uh, if you're on the newsletter, keep an eye out for it. It'll be going out uh, March 11th, 2023. If you're not on the newsletter alert or the deal alert, boom, sign up there. 
Anyways, we'll see if I can get in this place and go off the next offer, see what happens. All right, I just finished the third offer for this house behind me here. It's awesome house facing this park here. Uh, really nice house. Uh, the punchline, the negotiation tip I'm gonna share on this house is, you know what, sometimes writing these offers and going to these meetings is just not a fit and that's okay. It's about discovering whether this is a fit or not and whether these offers you know, uh, can actually help these people. These discounted offers are actually helping people, believe it or not. And this one just isn't quite a fit. Uh, this woman is going through a divorce and she has her ex-husband's son as the power of attorney. And uh, he is, uh, uh, she wants to sell it and just move on for, for a good low price, but they're probably gonna fight about that and uh, he, she actually has a good realtor lined up. Spring is coming, she's gonna sell, and the house is in amazing condition. You know, another small tip is to get a good deal on a house, it's a match of being motivated and being in disrepair or distress house. This lady is motivated, but the house is not in disrepair. It's gorgeous, she's kept it in wonderful shape, it's quite nice inside. So you can't even go that low because you can't justify it because it's in fantastic condition. So um, I always leave an offer, I did leave her an offer in case she just gets sick of it and just wants to deal with it off market, get it done fast. But there, there it is. Oh, and the last offer never, uh, the last offer I was supposed to go to never called me back. So that was a bust. So I went to three offers today. One was a signed offer. I got a signed contract in my inbox. Going to go out to the deal alert. Number, deal number two was a total bust. They didn't even show up. I'll call him later, see if he's off work. And uh, deal number three was just simply not a fit. So that's not bad. 30% close rate I don't think is that terrible thanks for watching look out for that deal alert day in the life of a wholesaler Brandon out